the double tap to both awake and sleep gestures are very popular and I have previously done a tutorial on how to enable double tap to wake so if you're curious about that feature be sure to check the previous tutorial I did on that but today I want to talk about how to get double tap to sleep working on your phone Now, as I explained before, this feature was made popular by LG and their knock on and knock off feature. But the more general term for this is double tap to wake and double tap to sleep. Now, in order to get double tap to sleep working on your Pixel phone, you will have to use a custom launcher unless you're willing to root and install an exposed module which at this time exposed is not available on Nougat so for now we're going to need a custom launcher for double tap to sleep and I'm going to show you how to do that with Nova launcher this is my favorite custom launcher not only will you need to download Nova launcher but you're also going to need to purchase the premium unlock Nova Launcher Prime because this feature is hidden behind a paywall for gestures. Once you have both of these applications downloaded, you'll just press the home button to go back to the home screen and you'll get a prompt that asks you if you want to switch over to Nova Launcher. So as I've done, I've switched over to Nova Launcher. I've gone through the initial setup of choosing how I want certain features done. And now I want to show you how to actually enable double tap to sleep because by default that gesture is not set up. So we're going to need to dive into the Nova Launching Nova Launcher settings. You can do that from the app drawer. There's an application icon as you can see here or you can long press on the home screen and tap on settings either way it's up to you so this will take us to the Nova Launcher settings screen and as you can see here we have an option called gestures and inputs so we just want to tap on that let me scroll down a bit till we see the gestures section. And there are a number of different gestures that we can set up here. Some of them are set to something by default. Like right now, you can just swipe down on the home screen to bring down the notification panel. If you don't like that, you have the ability to turn that off. Just like all of these other things, you just tap on none. So I suggest going through these gestures and making sure things are set up the way you want so that there's no surprises like you accidentally swiping up with two fingers and noticing the Nova settings launching. We just want to focus on the double tap option right here. So we tap on double tap. We have a number of options here to choose from. We can launch an application, we can launch a shortcut, but we just want to choose a Nova gesture right here. We're just going to tap on the screen lock option. You can double check, make sure it's right. We have it on the double tap gesture for screen lock. And once that's set up, we just tap the home button to go back to the home screen. So now, anytime you're at the home screen, all you have to do is double tap on an empty spot. We're going to get this administration stuff right here. So there are two things we can do. We can either go via device admin 
where it will immediately fully lock the device and it will require a pin to unlock. If you choose this option it means that you will not be able to use the fingerprint unlock method to unlock your device. What will happen whenever you try to unlock with your fingerprint it will still ask you for your pin pattern or password. Now from here we have another option called timeout. This will signify that the screen will go black and the phone will time out in five seconds. This is usually what people want because they want to continue using their fingerprint scanner. So we just tap on that option, go to Nova Launcher, and allow it to modify system settings, and then go back to the home screen. So now that that is set up, I'm going to show you this again with how it will work. So again, we just need to double tap on any empty space of the home screen. We can see a black screen comes up, but it actually hasn't locked the device yet. We tap on the screen, we can see the navigation bar come up. It's just an immersive screen with a black picture. But now, as you can see, it is timing out. Now, once that times out, you basically just need to wait five seconds. If you try to turn the phone up, press the power button to turn the phone on, it will instantly go back to the home screen. But if you wait that five seconds, like the setting says, it will lock the device, and then you'll see it will take you to the home screen. Doing it with this method, you can see it's just a black screen right now. Doing this with this method will ensure that you can still unlock the phone with your fingerprint. Again, you can choose the other option that will instantly lock the device, but whenever you use your fingerprint to unlock it, it will still ask for your PIN, pattern, or password. With this method, it takes a little bit longer, but you can still unlock it, as you can see here, with your fingerprint. So that's how to enable double tap to sleep on the Pixel and Pixel XL.